Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I thought I would shoot you a quick update on life, on what has been going on with my life, with um, things that are happening. I know the last time I came with you, oh, my four-year-old daughter's home again today. They have a half a day and her half a day ran funny. It was like a delay. They wanted her to go in for 11. Hi, honey. Say hi. All right, go sit down because mommy's got a tape. Um, so I definitely wanted to come before you guys and just let you know that things have turned around completely. I knew they would. I knew it would just take time. But I also know that being open about my feelings is really key and crucial um, in life in general. Wow, hot mess of hair here. Um, but anyhow, so let me tell you what happened. So the last time I came before you, I told you guys that my husband um, wasn't getting paid through the military that um, it was five and a half weeks and it was just crazy. Well, since then, we had an agency reach out to us uh, through the military. It's not actually through the military, they just work with military, um, especially um, veterans and PTSD people. Um, and so they're called One Call Away. I've never heard of them. They're amazing. And so they heard about what had happened and that we are still waiting for the money. And they kind of just really want to help alleviate some of the stress of having a family. And because we have the four small little ones, they really wanted to make sure that they did something. Um, I thought that was so nice, so kind. I see like it was just such an amazing gesture. And so what they ended up doing, um, I just told them about they had asked like kind of a bill breakdown. Um, they had asked um, about the kids and whatever. And they ended up um, coming together and paying. It's unbelievable. But they ended up paying two months of our rent, um, which is May and June. Because May was still due because we were supposed to be paid on the 15th and it never came. And then the 22nd never came. And so I just told my landlord, hold on to that check. Um, it's our first, you know month being late since he's been you know in the military and everything so my landlord is amazing he would have waited whenever he wouldn't have cared he's really nice um but anyhow so they paid may and june which was fantastic i can't even tell you the weight that was lifted um and then um after that uh the next day we ended up getting his pay uh which was great it actually uh, helped us because they paid the rent. What I would have used for the rent was actually used to replenish our emergency fund, which is so like necessary when you have a family, especially. Um, and then it also helped to pay off one whole credit card again and then pay off more than 50% of the other one, which is fantastic. So we don't owe a lot. And uh, I did see in the system that his check should start coming regularly now. We'll get one a week from yesterday um, on the regular scheduled payday, which is usually the 1st and 15th. But when you have USAA or Navy Federal, they put it in a day or two before. So anyway, so that is the um, update about the money. I'm feeling really great. Um, you know, it, it, it was a lot. And so I was even able to go... Um, and pick up, use a little bit of the money that we had to pick up the kids some clothes. Um, my, all my kids normally just get hand-me-downs and I haven't actually had to purchase many clothes for my four-year-old. She's now in a five-six. Um, she'll be five in June. And so um, I've saved a ton and my, so my daughter who just turned 11 and my daughter who is nine, fit into the same clothes. They're both the same size. They're like a size seven. Um, and the, uh, my oldest daughter, everything gets passed on or what's bought for her is worn by both of them. And it just gets passed on down the line. My son, however, is the only boy that's young. Um, and so I had to go buy him some clothes for the summer um, season. Um, so I ended up going to Costco, and I love Costco's clothes. They have, you know, Adidas and Nike for such affordable amounts. I got three-piece outfits for, um, I think it was $10. No, $11. $11.49, I believe it was. Um, and it's just, it's amazing. And so I was able to purchase some for him, a couple outfits, and I got a couple for my 
11 year old and a couple for the ten, uh, the um, almost 10 year old. She's nine still, nine year old. I think I said she was 10 a minute ago. She'll be 10 in, in October. And then my son turns eight and my daughter turns um, five in uh, on June 9th and June 11th. So anyhow, so I was able to purchase clothes which makes me feel so much better than to just have them wear the same thing or when the hot weather gets here, not really have anything. So I'm really, God has totally taken care of us like he always does. You guys will always hear me um, talking about just how grateful I am and how I know my prayers have been answered. And just the faith that through all this, like we've been going through this for quite some time, um, I just, I knew it would come to fruition. Like I knew something would happen. I knew that God would take care of us. And so I thought that that was amazing. So, and then in other news, uh, an update on my son. So as you guys uh, will recall, my son was diagnosed recently with uh, autism. He is on the spectrum. He has ADHD, um, sensory integration, and a couple other things um, that he's delayed in with uh, fine motor skills. Well, I started him on CBD oil um, probably a month and a half ago. It could be longer, but it seems maybe a month and a half. Well, anyhow, I just want to say that because I hired an advocate, I don't know that the CBD oil is 100% uh, helping. I know it helps a little if, if, you know, if that matters. But since hiring the advocate, she really hasn't done anything except for the fact that she sent out an initial email. She will be at the, the um, meeting coming up on in the beginning of uh, June. And um, she sent out this initial email. And other than that, they just know that she is involved and that I have retained her for, for the help with my son. And so they have, at the school turned around and changed everything and put the most of the accommodations already in place. And I think it's because they just got scared. They just got scared that I had a um, advocate that I was going to be, um, you know, helping my son to the best of my ability and not allowing them to get away with anything that's against the law. And the advocate I hired is known to the school district and they don't like her because she's really, really good. And she was a special needs attorney. So um, so with that being said, my son is going on today, is a half a day of school, and I normally wouldn't send him. He wanted to go, he loved it because it's kind of out of the routine. But today is day 18 in a row, 18 days of no disruptions. She said there were there's little disruptions like, you know, if something goes out of whack for him he may drop to the floor and just be all like oh my gosh what's happening or but she said he then thinks for not even a minute and stands back up pulls himself together and gets on with his day and that has been so refreshing like i'm sick you guys can hear it and my kids have been sick but other than that i have not been called from the school i have not been told anything from the school the only one that calls me and i know it's because i have the advocate the only one who calls me is the head of the special needs department about his testing because now i'm pushing that they were supposed to have testing done and so because i have this advocate she calls me often to let me know every little thing and she's nice as pie to me um oh thank you mrs acevedo they oh it's wonderful oh yes we can't wait to meet Blah. you know yada yada and so I just wanted to share that good news. So it's good news all around. Um, as I said the last video, I've had to go on Mass Health with the kids for health insurance. Mass Health has changed so much. There's no more stigma around it like there was in the 80s and 90s. Now you pick your plan. They have great coverage. And because of that, another thing had happened. My son is having surgery on his mouth on June 6th. If you guys can pray for him, he just has to have. He's got a couple cavities, got a couple of extractions, a cleaning, stuff that he can't do because of his sensory, um, too much on, on him at one time. It needs to be done. So they're doing it in the hospital. And my husband's insurance, his dental, we still have coverage through the military. I pay per month. And they'll cover it. And my portion was 350 which this whole time of not getting paid, I'm like, oh, no, the money's due, the money's due. When am I going to pay it? And I didn't want to take out more money off my charge card, you know. 
And so another thing happened was now because we have Mass Health, I don't owe anything. Mass Health is picking up anything that I would have owed up and above the insurance. Oh, I cannot even tell you guys. Like, oh, I feel so good. But anyways, so that is the update. I wanted to tell you guys how much I love you. I love, love, love my weight loss community. I wish I was closer to so many people. I wish I was in South Carolina with Erica. I wish I was in Arizona with... Um, I won't say her real name, but, uh, hello. I'll just say hello. Um, cause you know, she's private. So we'll leave it at that. Um, I wish I was with Cookie Lou in Arizona as well. I wish I was in San Antonio with Kristen. I wish I was in, uh, I think she's in Portland with, um, uh, oh, I just lost her name. Smiling Shrinking. Um, Oh my gosh, all you guys. Like, I love, love, love every one of you. There's so many more. Jenny, and there's, oh gosh, I can't even, uh, there's so many, so many, so many, so many. I can't even name you all. Um, but I love you. I love this community. I love how much you guys, you reached out to me and how much you really care. I hope to meet every single one of you one day. Um, and that's it for now. I love you guys. Bye.